Hi guys, it's me. So today I'm going to be filming a what's in my travel makeup bag video and this is going to be some of the stuff that I brought to Florida with me. I know I'm rude off the red nosed reindeer because I got a little sunburnt when I was in Florida this weekend. Um, but next weekend, which is in three days, even though this is six, it's three days um, till New York eye mats because I'm going on Friday. So I wanted to show you guys what is in my makeup bag and my um, skincare bag, I guess you can call it. So I guess I'll start with my skincare little bag because it's not that many things and it's pretty small. So this is the first bag. I got it from Ulta for $10. It was so cheap and I love it. Okay, so this, it's really big. So the first thing is deodorant. Gotta be smelling good. This is the best um, deodorant I've ever had. It's the Crystal Clear Gel Secret Scent Expressions in Ooh La La Lavender. So it smells the best. I have like almost nothing left because I use it every day and it's my favorite. Obviously I use it. Okay, the next thing is my Dermalogica Skin Prep Scrub, which will be good because as you can see, I am peeling everywhere. Okay, then I have my Dermalogica Skin Smoothing Cream. This is my uh, third bottle. Then I have a little of my um, cleanser. I just, the bottle was empty, so I filled it with my bigger one. And it's the Dermalogica Skin Clearing Skin Wash, Metabac, scare, like clearing, whatever. And then I have a bunch of samples that I got at the spa at my house in Florida. And they are by the brand Pavonia Botanica. Pavonia? And the first one is the, um, maybe I should read the English. That sounds so weird. But it's like a moisturizer. It's like an intense moisturizer for like dry spots. So I have two of those. And then I have a um, Timeless Repair Cream. And these samples I got for free. But they are like so expensive if you actually have to pay for them. Which sucks. So I have one Timeless Repair Cream. And these, like, you barely need anything. This is a great cream. And then I have a Timeless Balm Cleanser. So that's all that is in there. Bag. Gotta zip it up, even though I don't really care. So that's my bag. That's my, oh wow, it looks crazy. There we go. <laughs> um, so that's my skincare bag. Okay, so for my actual makeup bag, it is huge and I'm a big, big, big overpacker. So this is my makeup bag. I brought it to IMATS LA last year, and that's when I bought it. It's from Forever 21. I do think they actually still have it, and it is huge. It's really deep. Um, and it just unzips and opens up like that. It has a zipper pouch, and then the inside is where all the makeup is. So let's go through it. In the top thing, I have so many things, you guys have no idea. Like, first things I see are lip products. This is the MAC Wonder Woman Lipstick in Marquise. The MAC Wonder Woman Lip Gloss in Emancipation. The MAC Marcel Wanders uh, Lip Gloss in Beatrix. Love that color. Um, then we have my Garnier Fructis Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. Since I'm tan, I barely even need concealer, so this has been the only thing I've been using. Okay, for mascaras. I have three mascaras that I'm bringing, and um, I might use... Like, I, I like using two of them together and then one by itself. The first one that I like using by itself is the MAC Hot Naughty Lash, which you guys know is my favorite mascara of all time. Then I like to mix these two, which is the Glamize Lash Flirt from Rimmel London in Coal Black and the Falsies Mascara from Maybelline in Berry Black. To pair with the mascaras, I'm bringing my lash curler. This one is from Revlon. I have some more lip glosses. Um, pretty quick lip gloss for MAC. It's like an orangey color. And then Mimi, my favorite lip gloss ever from MAC as well. And then my chapstick of choice is the Mentha Lip Balm Stick from Co Bigelow. My favorite. Lather that stuff on before nighttime. I also have my EOS Lip Balm in Lemon Drop for um, just like during the day because I feel like the Mentha Stick is a little bit too thick for just reapplying so much. Another lip product, because I have 500 and I need so many. Um, 525 Peachy Scene Maybelline Color Sensational. Looks like that. It's gorgeous. I love Mimi over this. Okay, then we have my Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer in 03 Moderately... 00... No, it's 03 Moderately Fair. I don't know why I always want to say 003, but it's not. 
tweezers. These ones suck, but in case I lose them, I won't really care because they suck. But they work for the time being. And then, oh, crap! My black one go. Okay, well, I can't buy my black eyeliner, but um, I'm bringing Feline from MAC. And I don't know where it went. And Okay, I have Topaz from Stila. I have Aqua from Tarte from Tarte, the Tarte Emphasize. Love that on the lower lash line. I have Deviant 24-7 Glide On from Urban Decay, kind of like a darker blue. Designer Purple Pearl Glide Intense from MAC. And then for my liquid liner, I'm bringing my L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. And that is just the stuff that is in the top portion. I'm bringing three pigment samples with me. I'm bringing Melon, gorgeous peachy color. I am bringing Vanilla, a gorgeous kind of shimmery white with a gold-ish duochrome. And Polished Ivory, which is one of my favorite highlights ever. Most pigmented pigment on planet Earth. So you guys are going to be really proud of me because I limited myself to four blushes. And it was difficult, difficult, difficult. Uh, so I picked kind of like my favorites and also some that will be just really convenient. So the first one is my Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Peach Satin. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. It is just a gorgeous, shimmery, peachy color. And I love this, um, just applying it lightly, kind of on my cheekbones even, as a highlight-ish thing. Then my next cream blush in 05 Glow. It is the most gorgeous bright, bright coral color ever. Love these. Then my MAC Blush Cream in Lady Blush. Looks like this. One of my favorites, a really nice rosy color. And then my favorite blush of all time, NARS Orgasm. Looks like that. Gorgeous peachy corally color. I'm only bringing one bronzer. I'm bringing my NARS Laguna. I am bringing one powder for my face. I'm bringing my um, Makeup Forever HD powder. Love this stuff. I'm also bringing my Benefit Powder Flash just to set my concealer. And this I definitely recommend taping around the outside because it does like to totally open and burst everywhere. Okay, I'm bringing um, like four, well, one primer and four kind of bases. So the primer, I'm bringing my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Professional size, even though I could definitely bring a small one. I'm just crazy. Then I'm bringing three paint pots, but I might only bring two. I just haven't decided yet. I'm bringing Chilled on Ice, and I still don't know what collection this is from, and it's pissing me off, and I can't remember, but I probably could go find out. But if you guys know, just comment down below and tell me, because I can't remember. Then I am bringing Rubenesque, which is a gorgeous orangey peach color. A worldwide favorite. And the last one I'm bringing is Coral Crepe, and that is if I want to do my Coral Crepe Vanilla Pigment combo, just because it's like my favorite in the world. So you guys know that I love this and that it's my favorite MAC paint pot ever. When I was talking about my face stuff, I kind of forgot to mention my highlight that I'm bringing is my MAC Luster Drops in Pink Rebel. So I'm bringing three face things, and you guys are going to think this is totally nutso and crazy, but I'm bringing a foundation and two tinted moisturizers. So my foundation that I'm bringing is my CoverGirl Nature Luxe Foundation in 310 Flax, and this is just for, um, like, nights out, and, like, maybe I'll wear it at eye mats, I don't really know, um, but I don't want something so heavy. I wanted some coverage, but not, like... OD full coverage. Then I brought two different tinted moisturizers. I brought my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20 Oil Free in Porcelain, which is 900,000 shades too light for me right now. But I mix it with this one, which is my MAC Studio Moisture Tint SPF 15 in Medium Dark, which is way too dark for me right now. So these two combined with a little bit more of this because I'm tan um, is my perfect shade ever. Okay, so now into eyeshadows. You guys are going to hate me and think that I'm totally crazy, crazy, crazy town because I am and I'm okay with that. So I'm bringing four different palettes because I can hold them and because I'm not so. So I'm bringing my Urban Decay Naked palette. Looks like this. Gorgeous amount of neutral shades, love them, and it comes with a brown liner and a black liner, so that's, I think that's why my feline wasn't in there, because I have zero, um, 
but I still might bring it. So I love, 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 love this palette. Absolutely fantastic. Has your smoky colors, has all of your neutrals, and anything you'd ever need. But of course, I'm a psychopath, so I have to pack more. Just to be safe, I'm bringing my MAC Highlights palette, even though I have a highlight in, like, any eyeshadow palette. I'm bringing my MAC Highlights palette because it has every lid color I'd ever need and my highlights, obviously. I'm bringing my MAC Neutrals palette, even though I really don't need it because of my Urban Decay Naked palette. But, again, I'm super crazy and OD, so I'm bringing it just in case I want options for neutral crease colors. And then I'm bringing my rainbow palette because I'm super dumb and I like to do crazy colors sometimes. Even though that doesn't make me dumb, it just makes me fun. And like if I want to do like a pop of color in the lower lash line, like my favorite right now is, um, what is this called? Haunting from MAC. I love it on the lower lash line. It is such a gorgeous, bright turquoise color. That is all the makeup that I'm bringing, and I know it is a crazy, super duper insane amount of stuff, and I also have my brushes to show you guys. So that's all I'm bringing, though, for makeup, I promise. I won't put anything else in. You guys can hold me to it, except for makeup wipes, but I'm going to get them there because I don't like traveling with them because they like to leak everywhere. The one thing that I definitely can tell you guys that I'm super happy about is that I'm taking the train so I don't need to worry about anything being too big or too small or whatever because I'm not bringing like anything huge. I'm just packing everything in like a um, duffel bag or like kind of like a suitcase but it's like a rolling duffel bag. Okay, I swear this is the last thing and it is my brushes and I am crazy OD about my brushes. I don't know why I bring so many but I bring like every freaking brush in the world. So my brush roll is from Crown Brush. I got it last year at iMats and um, I should be packing everything in my brush belt just because it's a lot easier and a lot bigger. But I still might do that. I just haven't decided because these I tend to like frame my brushes when they're all like smushed together. So I haven't decided yet but I do love this brush roll when I'm just packing for a weekend. So these are all the brushes I'm bringing. There's like 500 kajillion of them, and I'm going to go through every single one of them really quick. My Sonia Kashuk Flat Top Kabuki brush, of course. My Sigma SS168 brush for my orgasm blush. That's the only thing I use it in. And my MAC 168 brush for bronzer because it's smaller and I love it. My Sonia Kashuk Bamboo Blush brush. My MAC 116 brush for highlighting. My Foundation and Concealer Brush Duo from Essence of Beauty from CVS for concealer. My MAC 188 Little Stippling Brush. I love this for my Dream Mousse Blush. My Sigma SS 275 Brush for highlighting. My Short Little Tiny Shader Brush from Coastal Scents. I don't know what it's called, but that's what it is. My Sigma SS 219 and my MAC 219. They're definitely different in my eyes, so I'm bringing both. My MAC 272 Brush and my MAC 224 Brush. Love them both. My Crown Brush C409 Angle Definer. It's my favorite eyeliner brush. It is so thin. I didn't get them all out to show you, but I'm bringing three MAC 217s because I'm going to be there for three days and I use this for my crease every single day. My Sonia Kashuk Tapered Blending Brush, and this is actually for my under eyes, for my powder. My Coastal Sense Deluxe Shader Brush, also for highlighting. My three shader brushes are my MAC 239 brush, my Sigma SS 225 brush, sorry, 252 brush, and my Sigma SS 239 brush. And I might bring other shader brushes just to be obnoxious, but I don't know. So that literally is all I am bringing. I promise I'm not bringing anything else, but that is what I'm bringing to New York with me for brushes and for makeup. Ow, that's heavy. And for skincare. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I promise you that is all I'm going to bring, and I'm not bringing anything else because I know that's crazy amounts of stuff. If you guys have any ideas for eyeshadow looks that will look good with kind of like a cobalt blue um, and a navy blue, please comment down below and let me know or link any videos that will be fun looks that I can try out. So I love you guys, and sorry this video was freaking forever long, but I love you so much, and I will talk to you guys all soon, and I hope I see you all at IMATS. So, bye guys! Love you!